Hi, this is Sean Henriksen here from the Sean Henriksen Law Firm, where we help good people like you avoid the devastating consequences of criminal charges. Today, we're going to be talking about probation, what probation is. Before we get to that, we do have a free download for you. It's four things you should be doing right now if you've been arrested. If you want to go ahead and click down in the notes below, uh, there's a link and we'll send that right over to you. Probation is essentially when you are sentenced to jail, but instead of going to jail, you are given probation, which is an alternative to you going to jail. If you successfully complete probation, you never actually have to go to jail and your case will be over once you finish up with probation. On the other hand, if you don't successfully uh, complete probation, you could still be sentenced to jail. The way that probation works is that you are supervised by the probation department and essentially you're given a list of things that you need to do to successfully complete probation. Normally, on most of the cases that we see, there's a pretty common list of things that you need to do as part of your probation. First and foremost, because you are supervised while you're on probation, you will need to report to a probation officer periodically. That could be weekly, it could be monthly, it really depends on what you're being charged with and also who your probation officer is. In addition to you having to report to your probation officer, you also need to make sure that there's a list of things that you are completing while you're going through probation. The first of those is going to be that you can't pick up any new cases or you can't commit any new crimes. If you commit any new crimes, they're going to try and revoke your probation. You'll also probably have to be doing some community service. There's fines and court costs you'll have to be paying for. And as being on probation, there's normally a supervisory fee where essentially you are paying probation to supervise you. Normally, there's some sort of classes that they want you to take to make sure that whatever you were originally charged with doesn't happen again. Also, as a condition of most types of probation, they're going to want you to do a drug or alcohol evaluation and maybe not on like an assault case, uh, although sometimes, but on other types of cases, particularly possession cases or DWI cases, they're going to want you to do this evaluation because they want to find out if you have any sort of issue with drugs or alcohol. And if they determine that you do, then they're going to order you to do things as part of your probation to help address that issue. That could be anything from Alcoholics Anonymous all the way up to inpatient treatment. And if they order the, that, then that's going to be part of your probation also. If you don't do everything that you're supposed to do as part of probation, or if the state thinks that you're not doing everything that you're supposed to do as part of probation, they can file a motion to revoke your probation. And that's essentially a motion that they're filing saying that you have not done everything that you're supposed to do as part of your probation and they are saying that your probation, your probation should be revoked and you should be sentenced to jail. Ultimately, if the judge finds that you did violate any of the terms of your probation, the judge can sentence you to jail or prison time. Probation and deferred adjudication are pretty similar in a lot of ways, but there are a couple of main differences. The first is that on probation, you've already been sentenced, which means that there's already a conviction on your record for whatever you were charged with. In addition to that, on probation, normally there's a maximum punishment that the judge can sentence you to if they revoke your probation. On deferred adjudication, they've got the full range of punishment of whatever you were originally accused of. So on deferred adjudication, if you don't successfully complete it, the judge can max you out on normally a higher level of punishment than would be available on probation. I hope that this video has been helpful for you. If you have any questions about probation or even deferred adjudication, or if you're being charged with a crime here in San Antonio, feel free to give me a call. My phone number is 210-942-4997, or you can click the link down in the notes below. We'll be happy to help you out. We do also have a podcast called What to Expect When You're Arrested that essentially walks you through what you, you should expect when you are charged with a crime, whether it's here in San Antonio or anywhere else. And I hope that all of this is helpful and I hope that you have a great day.